Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tejal, consultant at Cataract and Refractive Department at Narayan Netralaya. So today I'll be answering a few questions that are commonly asked in relation to cataract on Google. So one of the first questions that all of you want to know is what is cataract? So cataract is an age related issue. So where your natural lens becomes opaque. So this will decrease your vision. So usually it is age related. So after the age of 55, 60, you get cataract. Sometimes chronic exposure to sunlight also can predispose these factors. If you are a diabetes, you can get it at an earlier stage. Or if you take steroids for any other health condition also, this can uh, come earlier in your life. So these are the main reasons for cataract and it is just an opacity or an aging process. So your lens is just getting old. It is not a disease. So the next question also of you want to know is is cataract curable so till date we have not found any drops drugs or injections that can dissolve cataract the only treatment for cataract is surgery so surgically your opaque lens has to be removed and we need to implant an intraocular lens this is the only standard treatment for cataract no medicine can dissolve cataract you can't take any tablets which will make your cataract go away that cannot happen so the other question is the new lens that you're going to put is this for lifelong yes these lenses are going to stay throughout your life artificial lens cannot develop cataract or it can't turn opaque so these intraocular lens are for lifelong these lenses are placed inside your eye so even if you rub your eye or splash water they are not contact lenses which will fall away these are intraocular lens and they are placed at the exact location where your previous lens was so there's no point of you thinking that you know if i change my lens and put another lens is it going to fall off or will it become opaque again no it will not and this is a lifelong thing so coming to the fourth question that all of you have commonly asked is do i require reading glasses after cataract surgery so now this depends completely on the kind of lens you choose so if you go for a monofocal lens your distance is going to be clear you will require glasses for reading if you choose a trifocal lens, your distance, intermediate and near vision is going to be good. There's another form of lens called an extended depth of focus lens. With this, your distance is going to be clear, intermediate is going to be clear and you're going to have a functional near vision. But you might require glasses. But again, if these lenses are good for you or if are they going to suit you is again a decision that you and your surgeon will take together. So we will run a few tests on you, we will do a detailed retina evaluation and only then we will be able to suggest as to what is the best for you because every eye is different. What might suit me might not suit you. So we need to evaluate every eye differently and then only decide on what suits you the best. Now coming to the last question that I'll be answering today is what can I do post surgeries or what should I avoid after my cataract surgery? So cataract surgery is a day procedure. We do it under topical anesthesia. We don't give general anesthesia or not even an injection these days. We just do it under topical anesthesia. We do not advice bed rest so if you undergo surgery today we will see you the next day once and once we see and we feel everything is okay and nothing to worry you can resume your daily activities other than lifting heavy weights and you know probably swimming you can do everything you were doing before surgery we will be giving you protective glasses so you can wear that and you can get back to your normal life in a day itself so there's absolutely nothing to worry it's a day procedure you just walk in get your surgery and go and get back to normalcy the next day itself. So these are the five frequently asked questions on Google's that I have answered today. We will be coming up with more such episodes. We'll be answering more of your queries in the following episodes. Thank you so much.